Welcome back to the Lone Ranger Radio Show. I am Bruce Woodburn with Cross Country Mortgage. I am the Lone Ranger, and I have with me a great guest that um, I'm really proud to have on the air with me. His name is Jay Heckendorn. Jay, say hello to our audience. Hello, everybody. How are you? Jay, Re- Jay Heckendorn <laughs> is with EXP Realty, but Jay Heckendorn also has been an expert on REOs, which is real estate owned, meaning that he's worked with buyers and banks on being able to help um, distribute and sell and um, clear out the portfolio for banks in the in the past. And in the last segment, we talked a little bit about that we don't think that we're going to run into a giant foreclosure um, uh, just overflow of properties hitting the market. I don't think that's going to happen. No, I don't either. On the on this go around, and this is as you said, I've been doing this thirty two years, and I've I've actually done it across twenty six states. So I I really have a broad view on it and deep rooted relationships with the banks. Because I've handled so many states, I've been through many different recessions. This would be my seventh or eighth uh, that I've gone through, and each one's different. They they come with different ingredients. Um, but but they their common sense approach you know it's right. you know what's coming on this one this is you know this market was really i mean if anybody if there should have been a recession it would have been during the pandemic yep. right i mean everybody stops working everything shuts down and what happened to real estate during the pandemic it exploded. skyrocketed it exploded no I, I got gray hair from this <laughs> i hear you so i mean no so this one is inexplicable um, it really just shows that the lending that took place before uh, was made the the prudent. lenders they were prudent they lending, were prudent lending. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and and it's qualified buyers and that people today are, are getting back to work um, they did save up um, and if not the government has stepped in and injected you know cash flow into the economy to to spur it so I don't know I, you know I imagine as inventory eventually catches up. You know, there, there might be a little dip. But right, but now, right now, Jay, we don't see any yeah, inventory. There is there's, nothing. There's a month and a half worth of inventory. You, you you just got through telling me you've got a cash buyer that he's made how many offers? We have made four offers um, and and no no contingencies except for a seven-day inspection, right? So no loan contingency, no appraisal contingency, above list price. And we've lost two of them, so we just wrote two more. You know, it, it's so just you nuts. think about that. Here's a cash buyer. This isn't even somebody getting a mortgage, but a cash buyer. And listen, I don't want to discourage my cash buyers out there. I don't want to discourage anybody that wants to get a mortgage because properties are still selling. You just have to be informed and prepared as to what can happen. You could make multiple offer situations and still not get it and come in overpriced. And what Jay's saying is that his customer not only is a cash buyer, but he's removed the appraisal contingency, meaning that he'll buy the house even if the house doesn't appraise for how much he's buying it for. Now, that's going a long way, but I'm starting to see that across the board because prices are going up faster then appraisers can keep up with it. And we're starting to see low appraisals right now anyway. Yes. And when we say low, they're not low. They're just lower than what that seller could get for that house. Right, right. Because they can't comp it out with other comps. Well, and that goes back to the prudent lending, right? right? So there's, and that's, that's been a historic problem. Anytime that the economy goes up, the appraisers are looking back and they have to use past sales so when you've got a rise, then they have to adjust for whatever the appreciation has been. And that's And that's difficult. not easy to do. And Fannie, Freddie, and HUD don't don't care for that when you're using future value. But it can be done. If you have any questions for me, just call me at 407-706-3313. I'm the loan arranger. You can call me if you want to reach Jay. Jay is not only here to help you if you want to buy a home, if you want to sell a home, if you want to uh, discuss with him about maybe some... Uh, strategies on your forbearance if you're in forbearance or considered going into forbearance or would like to get out of forbearance he's an expert when it comes to that i love having him on the air if you go to my website at we bring you home.com that's we bring you home.com i'll have all the contact information for jay available if you are interested in uh, purchasing a home right now but you are so darn tired of being a multiple offer situation every time you go out and, uh, and look at a house there's five six seven other offers on the table within like 24 hours of even hitting the market if that doesn't if that doesn't appeal to you 
And if you don't want to buy new construction in production homes, because they're limited on how many homes oh, absolutely. They're, they're even selling right now, some of these communities will only let the salespeople write between five and 10 uh, offers per month because they don't know what the prices are going to be next month. They can't keep up with the cost of material and the cost of labor. So maybe, maybe that's not in your picture. So what's left? What is left if you can't buy a resale and you can't buy new construction? And maybe you don't want that new construction production neighborhood where every fifth home is the same home as yours <laughs> and you don't even have enough room to put your jet ski in the side yard, right? So maybe that's not you. So here's a solution. I have the very best construction perm loans in the market. What's a construction perm loan? Find a lot, or if you own a lot, we build on your lot. We find a custom builder or semi-custom builder. I work with some great builders here locally. I love Caliber Homes. Uh, I love Eastern Homes. Uh, I've got another one, Adobe Homes, that I met. And I'm interviewing two more builders just this week alone to be able to add them to people that I can refer to them. But let's say, so you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to buy the traditional home that's in these ginormous neighborhoods and you want a little bit of land maybe you can stretch out a little bit you have more room to put your jet ski or a boat in the side yard or a camper or maybe you just don't want to you know reach out and touch the neighbor's side of their house construction perm so now um i teach classes on construction perms if you want to understand how you can build on your own lot or find a lot, and I'll combine the lot all in one transaction, then you just call me at 407-706-3313. If you're a real estate agent and you're struggling with the same situation that your client's struggling with, then why don't we do this? Go out and find lots. I'll connect you with the builder. The builder will pay you or the seller will pay you for the sale of the lot on a commission and the builder will pay you, even a customer, semi-custom builder, you bring the client to the table and you get compensated on both transactions. It's a no-brainer, you guys. It's an alternative to the traditional sale. 407-706-3313. I'm the loan arranger. My name is Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage. I have been peddling mortgages and helping people with financing for 32 years and i'm still going strong having a lot of fun with it if you have questions for jay heckendorn jay heckendorn brings a wealth of knowledge to the real estate community he is not only does traditional real estate but he's worked with banks all over the country on helping them uh uh, uh get their REOs or their their portfolio of properties that have been foreclosed on the market. Also done some short sale negotiation. Yeah, so I do all kinds of loss mitigation. So it's not just that. There's, there's short sale, there's loan modification, refi. You know, we, we take about five different disposition efforts uh, prior to foreclosure. Foreclosure is always the last uh, alternative. Absolutely. So, and I'm involved from step one um, all the way through disposing of an REO. Yeah. So if you maybe maybe Jay Heckendorn, somebody that you'd like to reach out to, I can tell you something. You have a great deal of knowledge there, but he is going to walk you through the process. If you're interested in going out and finding a new home, he can find new construction. He can help you find that lot. He can sell your home and get the most money for it. Because I'll tell you something about that I like about Jay. He's a master negotiator. He'll fight for your money like he fights for his own. He's a tight guy, right? He's, he's, <laughs> right? He'll fight for he'll fight for your money. So if you want somebody that'll negotiate on your behalf, then you call me at 407-706-3313. I'm the loan arranger or we bring you home.com. We'll be back in five minutes. 